It's 2021, bitches, and I'm back. Back after my siesta, my relaxation, my decompression. I regenerated like Doctor Who, came new, refreshed, Adam Garrett. Have you missed me? I've missed you. I have missed you. But here we are, 2021, and straight into a full lockdown here in the UK. So screw dry January. Oh, that's a smooth malt. So here I am, back again, making a video. But I thought I'd kick off the new year with a curry. Alu Palak, or otherwise known as Sargaloo. So that's what we're gonna make. Get your face down here and we'll get started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is grate our garlic and ginger to make a paste. You can already buy ginger garlic paste. It's absolutely fine to use but fresh is best. And it's really, really simple. Get yourself a microplane. If you haven't got one already, I'll put a link down in the description where you can buy one. They're really, really useful. And just grate it, mince it into a mince mush thing like that. And you want the same sort of size piece of ginger to the amount of garlic. So a good couple of inch size piece of ginger to about four cloves of garlic. And just do the same with the garlic, run that through. Then literally just spoon that into a little dish and just add like the tiniest bit of water, a couple of teaspoons if that. Mix it up so it's all evenly combined. Ginger garlic paste, easy as that, smashed it. Right, so onto the onions then. Now, I'm using red onion, you can use white, but red onion is used quite a lot in Indian cooking because they're a bit milder, a bit sweeter and just nice. And the recipe calls for one large, but these are fairly small, so I'm probably gonna use one and a half. And listen, look, you know how to peel an onion. You don't need to sit and watch me do that. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, and once your onions are peeled, sliced in half, taken off the knobby end, I'm gonna cut these quite chunky, but not like massive chunks. There we go. Simple as that. I've also already diced up my tomatoes, which you can see there. And that's the kind of size you're looking for, for reference. I've also prepared, whoa, sh your special has now become not very special, thanks to dick face. Oh, for God's sake, pop water all over the kitchen floor. Oh, your return is going well, isn't it, Adam? Oh. One moment. So yes, I've diced my potatoes up as well, but I'll talk about those in a second. So let's start cooking then. Now at this point, you can kind of decide whether to go vegan or not. I'm using ghee because it's bloody delicious. So I'm gonna go in the good couple of tablespoons of that. But if you want it to be vegan, at this point, you would just use like vegetable oil. We're gonna get that onto a medium heat. We're gonna melt that ghee. Right, so the ghee is melting nicely. Let's get the onions in. And I know it looks like a lot of ghee, and that's because it is. But you've got to remember, there's gonna be quite a lot of this curry, so it goes a long way. And give the onions some love. Okay, just keep stirring them on a medium heat, just that's a bit too high. For like a good 20 minutes, 25 minutes, maybe half an hour. And you want to get them slightly soft, but also you want a bit of colour. Not burnt, just a little hint of colour. Because that's going to give a nice flavour to the curry. You can think about what you're going to do this coming year, your plans, your failures, pursuing that crush, getting a vaccine. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? You could start a new hobby. Like, I don't know, collecting all the different types of masks you can get. Start a new job, new career. You might want to be an epidemiologist after all this. 16 paranoia filled days later. So, there we go. Onions have got a nice bit of colour on there, but not too much. Starting to go nice and soft. So in with our garlic and ginger paste. In it goes. And we're going to stir that around until it starts to smell nice and fragrant. Then we're going to go in with our spices, which I've already measured out there. Again, all the ingredients will be in the description. So get those in. And it's super, super important that we cook these spices out. Don't just chuck everything else in it because we need to kind of toast them a bit, wake them up, get them nice and fragrant, but don't burn them. And the more you kind of make curries, the more you kind of understand and get to know when it's the right time to add the other stuff. But this will take about three minutes or so, and then we'll come back. Now, the kitchen is smelling very aromatic indeed. So now we can add the tomato paste or puree. Get that in. And like you've seen me do a thousand times before, we need to cook it out. We need to take out that graininess, that raw tomato flavour. Again, that'll take about 30 seconds to a minute. Say Happy New Year, Mugs. Say Happy New Year. Did you have a good Christmas, boy? You don't care about the old Rona, do you? Nothing phases you. Okay, next thing to go in then 
is our diced tomatoes. In they go. And then just a couple of splashes of water, a couple of tablespoons, just to start with. And again, keep it on a fairly low heat because we don't want anything to burn. What we're gonna do now is stick the lid on and leave that for a good 15 minutes just until the tomatoes have started to break down and kind of help make the sauce. I don't know what that is. Yeah, about 15 minutes. See you in a bit. 2,000 years later. Look at that. That's what you want. See how nice and jammy it's become? That's a good sign. So, next thing we're gonna add is our potatoes. Now, I said I was gonna talk briefly about these, and I will. So, basically, I've got some new potatoes here, and the reason I'm using new potatoes is because they hold their shape. They're not gonna to turn to mush, and you'll just end up with, like, a curry potato soup, which, you know, that could be nice, but that's not what we're looking for. So, a nice, robust new potato like a charlotte. These aren't charlottes, but you get the idea. In they go. So I'm just going to stir that in, get everything kind of coated. I'm going to add a good pinch of salt because there's a lot of potato here and we haven't added any salt prior to this. Next thing I'm going to add is some water, okay? Not too much, just enough to come underneath the potatoes. You know, just kind of flatten everything out. Stick the lid on and bring it to a gentle simmer. Cook for about 25, 35 minutes just until the potatoes are nice and tender. And you'll know when they're ready because the knife will go in nice and easily. And that part of the curry is done. Right, okay, we are almost there, folks. Now, I did take the lid off for the last sort of 10 minutes or so because there was a little bit too much water in there. What I'm gonna do now is just add some more garam masala because if you add a bit of garam masala at the end, it just kind of wakes everything up a bit. Just sort of two level teaspoons is enough. Here we have, look, spinach crucial part of this dish and we are going to add heaps of it okay yes i know it looks like a lot but spinach wilts down really really quickly and i can't fit it all in in one go so what i'm going to do is pop the lid back on just to kind of wilt down and then i'll add some more okay the first batch of spinach has wilted down i've added some more and all i'm going to do now is pop that lid back on again kind of cook that spinach out for a couple of minutes till it's nice and wilted. And I'll put this on the back burner just to keep it nice and warm whilst I cook up some rotis or chapatis. Now I'm using store-bought because they're okay, they're good. They're very tasty and all I'm gonna do is get a hot dry pan, you know, dry fry them for about 30 seconds each side, nice and scorched, they go nice and soft. And that's what I'm gonna have with my curry, my sargaloo, or aloo palak. It takes no time at all. It is literally, it's one of the quickest curries you'll ever make. So simple to do. In fact, it's so quick, it owes you time. It owes you time. Every time you make this, you'll get like 30 minutes back on your life. If you make it enough times, you'll get younger, like Benjamin Button. You'll be there cradled in your mother's arms. Like this. You'll be like, no, I don't want your milk. I want more of that aloo palak, that sargaloo. Give me that. The elixir of life. Anyway, the next time you see this, I'll be eating it. There we go. Look. Alu Palak, or my version of. Got some roti here. Just going to give it a quick try. Shan't keep you long, because you'll probably want to go make this, like, straight away. Bit of potato, bit of spinach, all that good stuff. There we go. Kind of like a mini sandwich. Let's tuck in. It's spicy, yummy, comforting. And considering there's not a lot of spices in there, it's got a nice deep flavour. A bit of sweetness from the tomatoes. So there you go. Simple, delicious, aloo palak, or sargaloo. It's healthy, delicious, yummy, tasty, all that kind of good stuff. And it's vegan if you don't use ghee. Use oil and it's vegan. You see, how easy was that? Curries are not always as complicated as you think. The more curries you make, you kind of understand how the spices work, how strong they are, how mild they are, and you kind of find your own level, you know, what you like. But anyway, I'm gonna love and leave you. Thanks for being so patient over the Christmas period when I kind of took my sabbatical. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. But if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Remember, if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe as well. And I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video. Bye for now. He's lurking here, of course, as always. You definitely can't have this. No.